So can we normalize grieving after a friendship breakup or are we all just gonna pretend that that shit doesn't hurt? Friendship breakups are a real thing. I'm telling you, like a friendship breakup can hurt as bad as a real breakup. I'm very curious before I even start like going into the topic, can you guys let me know in the comments what you take worse? Do you take a friendship breakup harder or a real breakup harder? Let me know because I'm curious. Me personally, <laughs> I take a real breakup harder because that shit oof, is painful because it depends. If your partner's just your partner and it's all romantic and cute, but you guys are not best friends, it might be a little easier. But because like I had to go through a friendship breakup along with the real breakup because he was my best friend, it was hard. But anyways, yeah. So let's normalize grieving after a friendship breakup, please. Today I'm talking about grieving after friendship breakup, obviously. I'm gonna talk about friendship breakups in general and feeling nostalgic after you stop being friends, which is something that I struggle with. So friendship breakups, you guys are not dumb. It's when you're really close friends with someone and you guys break up. It can happen many ways. You guys can either drift, somebody can do the other person dirty and there's a conversation about, hey, let's not be friends anymore. Somebody can just decide to ghost someone because they're over the friendship. I've been in most situations. I think there's only one friendship that I didn't break up with her and everyone else, like, we, we broke up. Like, I had to send them a text and be like, listen, like, I don't think we should be friends anymore. And it, me to get to that point always took a lot. I would put up with so much. I used to go through so many friendship breakups. I think my last one was 2018, but I used to go through at least like two a year because I had a lot of friends. So let's talk about grieving after a friendship breakup. It all depends how it goes down, what you're gonna feel. So for example, my 2018 friendship breakup, it had taken a lot of disassociating from the relationship for me to finally make the decision to be like, we shouldn't be friends anymore. I didn't message her or tell her, I just made it very clear I'm not interested in this friendship anymore because I told her so many times my problems that I had with her and she didn't give a shit. So eventually I just decided to just distance myself and make it very clear and she took all the hints and we just stopped being friends. That friendship breakup, I didn't really care if I'm being honest. I was like, you know what, good riddance. You are a cool person, you're a nice person, but you're not a good friend to me. And that's enough for me to be like, bye. But that one, mind you, like we were friends, we reunited, became really close for two years and then broke up again. And that was like our final breakup. We were really close. We had like a best friend channel and everything. Like, we were really close friends. Her mom loved me, her sister loved me. Like I went to her sister's baby shower, like cool family, great people, just not a good friend to me. Doesn't mean she's a bad person. So with that one, I didn't care because I was so tired of constantly like telling her how I felt and feeling disappointed and all of these things. I was so tired of it that I was just like, you know what? I have a little bit less stress in my life now. But, but that doesn't mean I didn't miss our fun times and her presence as a friend eventually because after months and months and months, I find myself doing things and be like, damn, like we would have had so much fun doing this together. Like, oh my God, now that I finally have money, the things we could have done. Or like when I got my car, I was like, oh my God, like all we wanted was for me to get a car too so we could have fun and like little things. I would start to think like, wow, like I don't miss her, but I would have fun with her right now. And this could have been really cool. It's too bad it didn't work out. And that's mostly where my mind went. A couple friendship breakups before that, I took really poorly. Like I had a best friend of seven years and she broke up with me and I knew it had to happen and I didn't want to be friends with her anymore either because I was over it, she was over it. We were just toxic to each other. And when it happened, it took like two weeks for me to notice like, wow, we're really not friends anymore. Like we, I don't, I can't call her. I can't text her. I can't like, it felt so weird. And I was, I was sad about it. I was really sad. And I started to see her updates of like, she got a boyfriend and she had been single like all the time that we've known each other she'd always been single and all of a sudden she has a boyfriend and all of a sudden her little brother's growing up and this is happening and she's in school and i'm like all these things are happening that i'm seeing on social media that i don't know about and i felt really sad because i wanted to be a part of all those things in her life and i felt really sad and like i just want to let you guys know like that's fine to feel sad about this type of shit because this is someone special to you this is someone that holds a place in your heart this is someone you love and care about. And you can't just turn that off because you have one conversation about how you shouldn't be friends anymore. It's not just gonna go away. That's one thing I can tell you. Then there's jealousy that comes with that. The same way that you would get jealous of seeing your ex with a new person, I would get jealous seeing my friend with like a new BFF. I'd be like, what the fuck? Like who, like what, huh? And I would feel so weird. It's just 
weird because you feel like you shouldn't be feeling these things i think the worst part about going through a friendship breakup is that you kind of have to go through it alone because it feels weird to go to your other friends and like cry over another friend do you know what i mean my best friend's name is monica it feels weird for me to go to monica and be like monica like i'm so sad because i really miss her and like i really just want to be friends with her again blah, blah 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 a because monica might sit there and be like am i not enough i'm not saying this is what she would say but i'm saying that any friend could feel this if you're venting to them they could be like am i not enough am i boring do i not give you certain things in our friendship that she gave you like it might make them feel like shit but also they might be like fuck that person they were whack like they were shit to you don't even worry about them like who cares because no one really thinks about friendship breakups being traumatic or sad or anything they think about it as like just get over it but you can't just get over it when they know your family and you know their family you walk in their house like hi mom and you know their little brother and you babysit them and you know you are part of all the relationships like you know their boyfriends really well to the point that like you can help them surprise them with stuff or when you want to go on vacation with them next year or just different things that you just want to do with them parts of their life that become your life even just talking to them on the phone every single day all these things you don't just forget them in 24 hours if i call you every day like for example my friendship breakup in 2018 we would talk on the phone every single day it's so funny to think back on now because i don't talk to any of my friends like that anymore we would talk on the phone every single day i went to university she went to college and they were so close to each other so we'd carpool she'd drive me to the mall that's two minutes away from my university and then i bust from there like so we spent like our mornings and evenings together carpooling to school we talk on the phone we spent so much time in each other's houses because we were both self-employed that we didn't have like physical jobs we had to be at so we could always hang out like that was a bond that we had going for like two years and for it to just stop out of nowhere was so weird because i'd be sitting and like multitasking and i'd want to call someone just to talk to them while i was doing something and i'd be like damn like this feels weird i remember i'd be driving and i'd always call her when i was driving or she'd call me and i'd be like oh shit like i can't who, what am i okay i guess i'll put the radio on like it was a really weird feeling and it was so sad but that for me was not like as painful it was just kind of like damn i'm bored like i'm just this is what i'm used to so that's something that you guys are probably feeling it's just weird because you feel like you shouldn't care but you do and you should care this was your friend this is love it's not romantic love but it's love it's the same feeling that you'd have if a family member packed up and moved to switzerland that's the thing like if i were to call my friend and be like oh my god i'm so sad because this person's moving away and i don't get to see them or talk to them anymore it'd be okay to cry and be sad but if i say oh my god i'm so sad because we're not friends anymore and i don't get to see them or talk to them anymore now i'm a little weak bitch and like it, it, like can we just normalize it please like can i call my friends and cry over my other friends that i've lost like please like can we normalize it because i'm sick of everybody pretending that we're just not supposed to care because it can be really really tough another thing i wanted to talk about is feeling nostalgic over friendship breakups and how to break this cycle i've had an issue that i feel the need to constantly check in on their lives and by that i mean creep them like i get so curious about like i wonder how their little cousin's doing and then I wonder what they're doing in life. I wonder what school they go to. Did they ever go to college? Did they ever quit that job? Blah, 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 blah. Like, I wonder how their mom's doing. Does she still blah, blah, blah? And I creep. I creep. I ask my friend for her phone and I say, can I creep? Because she follows all my old friends still. And I say, can I creep? And I creep. And I just, wow, that's what she's doing? No way. Oh my God, she finally got that job she wanted. And I fucking creep. And it's so weird. My friend, she's probably like, why do you care? I care, I care. So here I am telling you that I'm gonna explain how to stop being nostalgic over it, but I need to take my own advice because I feel nostalgic over my old friendships. I'll be listening to a song and be like, oh my God, how fun would it be to like jam out in the car to the song with them? How fun would it be to go to this new bar with them? And I don't think about this often, but th little things that remind me of them, I might get a little nostalgic or if I go through my old pictures, I might get a little nostalgic and feel happy and like aw I don't hurt over any of these people anymore at all but I get nostalgic in the sense of like wow like those are some good times and sometimes I'm just like why do I still care like we haven't talked in eight years we have not talked in three years and that is something that's pretty strange to me so for me I realized like out of sight out of mind just unfollow them if you have no interest in their life like for me 
they've always unfollowed me first. I don't know what it is about me. I think it's because I break up with them. I think it's an ego thing. So my friends have always unfollowed me first and then I stay following them for a minute and then I'm like, okay, this is kind of awkward. Like, let me just unfollow. And then I unfollow and then I just kind of forget they exist. If you just hide all the photos that you have with them and you unfollow them or block them, I've never really blocked any of them. Or if you delete mutual friends, um, remove the photos from your Instagram, you just won't think about them and you won't get nostalgic over them. And don't go out of your way to creep because it's gonna get weird for you. You're gonna feel weird creeping them because it's, it's a little sad, but it's also, I don't know. Like for example, I did a story time during my video where I was like drunk doing makeup about the girl with the drug and three people at that birthday i'm no longer friends with so because i was thinking about them in that moment i was like oh my god i don't know what they're up to i haven't seen their profiles in years so then i looked at their profiles and i was like whoa holy shit like one of them had a daughter and she was grown as hell and the other one she's on private so i couldn't really see much but i saw her bio she's in school now and i got very nostalgic over these people and i realized like i haven't felt that in years because i don't creep these ones specifically ever so i realized out of sight out of mind like i don't need to be on their profile they have no value in my life anymore it's been years it's been years so if you want to stop getting nostalgic you just have to remove them like from your feed from your scrapbook <laughs> from your images on your phone from your mind and out of sight out of mind you will not be thinking about them anymore but yeah i just wanted to quickly talk about friendship breakups and normalizing the grief after them so everybody please share a story on a friendship breakup and how you dealt with it and if you just need to rant about it rant about it because it's okay like if you cry over that friendship breakup that happened two months ago that is okay that is okay i cried over my ex for months why can't i cry over my ex-friend i can I can. Love is love. Whether it's romantic, whether it's platonic, whether it's family, love is love. And you're allowed to hurt and feel things over lost love. So just understand that. Don't feel stupid. Don't feel like a weakling. Don't feel dumb. And just grieve. Look up breakup videos and take the same advice that you've used in that breakup video for your friendship breakup. And I'm sure that you'll come around and feel like yourself again. Also take up a hobby, meet new friends. Find something to occupy the time that you used to spend with them on the phone, whatever, and get on those like Bumble BFF apps, Hey Vina, all those things to meet new people. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Vlogmas is almost over. What day is it? Oh my God, it's the 22nd. Three days left. Three days left. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I need a break. I need a break and I can't wait to take this break, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow tomorrow bye guys